we are here today to honor and salute Mac Douglas Talbot. He was born June the 6th, 1942. And we're here today because he passed away. And he was a man who loved God, his country, and his flag. Max graduated from Georgia Tech before entering the United States Army. He retired from the United States Army after 22 and a half years, and he served in Vietnam as a warrant officer, Deputy Three. He retired from the Rayon Peninsula after 23 years. Max was an average Alabama fan who enjoyed golf, cooking, spending time with his loved ones and his little furry babies, Princess, Queen, Mikey, Jack, Aussie, and Tangle. Max loved family, God, and his country. He dedicated his life to the services. He was a very respectful individual and he loved his name, loved his country, and loved his God. Max honored this flag by putting 22 and some years in the military. When the call of our country was heard, Max answered, self was forgotten for the cause of a greater good. And as a brave young man, he marched away with an abiding faith and his God, his country, and his flag. The red now nation's flag was made still redder by his heroism. The white, most stainlessly pure, by the motive that impelled him. And the starry fill of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified for the services he's given for America's ideas. The march of this veteran is now over. And as we lay him to rest, we are reminded of the frailties of human life and the tenature by which we hold our own. Max is now in the hand of the Heavenly Father. So let us cherish his virtues and learn to imitate them, reminded by the places he will fill no more. As family, as friends, as veterans, let us be so loyal to every virtue and so true to every friendship so that we will all be ready to fall out and take our place in the great review and the hereafter. Not in doubt, but with faith that the merciful Lord and Captain of our salvation will receive us into that fraternity which on earth and in heaven will remain unbroken. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and eternal God, Father of us all, in the midst of these monuments of the dead, we see thy hand. In the depth of our sorrows, we realize the truth in your divine word, that you are the resurrection and the life he that believeth in you, though he were dead, yet he shall live. As veteran after veteran depart, we march on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us, O Lord, to be faithful unto you and to one another. We beseech you to look with mercy upon all of us here assembled. And with thy tenderness and kind mercy, bless those who are bereaved by the hands of death. Heavenly Father, bless us in our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. And through thy sovereign and Holy Spirit, may we all meet at last before thy throne of grace in heaven. 
and to you, Father, we shall sing praises forever and ever. Dear God, may your divine assistance always remain with us, and may all of the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, our honor guard is going to file Valley of Round in honor of our departed friend and comrade. Please prepare yourself because this noise may be startling, especially for the women and the children. If you have any tiny tots, please cover their ears because this noise is extremely loud. Does anybody in the family please like to say something? God will be with me. I'd like to say something about my brother, Max Talbert, and his sister, Audrey. My brother, Max, was a phenomenal person and a brother. He was someone who was genuine, kind, honest, sincere, and most important, a man of an exceptional character. Max had a heart made of pure gold and an unconditional love for all those around him. His smile would light up a room and his laughter always warm and contagious. He was an absolute gift to anyone that knew him and will be missed every single day. If life was smooth and perfect, we would never need God's help and security. Life is a very short journey, and we all need to make the most of it because we never know when we are called home. Although our journey might not always be easy, we have the assurance that someday we will be reunited again and spend life together as a loving family. If someone asks me if I still grieve for my loved ones who have passed away, my reply would be simply, yes. Until the very last breath I take, we miss them because we love them so much and there will always be a big hole in our hearts. I have you, brother, and will always love you, but I know you have found a peace and rest in God's arms. Love you always, your sis. Is there anyone else watching? Well, 
I don't know what word I have to say for him. I know, I just know him as my brother. And he is the kind person I ever seen in my life. When my husband needs help, he is not very smart in the work he come and help me to make the cabinet and he help physically. He help and he cook and he love. That's all I know for him. It's not he give me anything, only he gave me love, good heart. And really I miss when you go to my stair. So that I love him. I love you. That's what he last word he said to me. And really, really I miss him very bad. I don't know what, what to say, what to do. He was such a wonderful guy for me at least, for us. And he is really, really very, very wonderful person. When he come to me, Suda, what do you need? I said, sir, no, I just want your heart. Good, that's it. And the person who love others, who respect others, who help others, that's all we leave behind us. Nothing else we leave, ma'am. Nothing else, guys, we leave. So he is the person who did the right job for the Lord. That's why he is side to the Lord right now, side to the Lord. And I, we all will going to miss him, miss him bad. <laughs> Love you, Maxi. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. This is Max's brother speaking. I'm going to miss you physically, bro. But one day, you and I are going to be together again. You'll always be in my heart. I've enjoyed the time we've had together for 76 years, bro. I love you so much. I'll see you in heaven. Is there anyone else? Let it be known that this veteran, Max Douglas Colbert, he walked with honor, he fought with courage, and he defended our nation without hesitation. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let thy perpetual light shine upon him. And as a reminder that a gun salute was rendered in Max's behalf, I give you these sent cartridges as a reminder. These same ceremonies are performed for the President of the United States, all heads of state, and all great women and men. May Almighty God bless you and your family always. And may the peace and the blessing of Almighty God be with each. and every one of you. God be with you all. Thank you. Thank you.
he would say, let's see. <laughs> uh, if you please uh, let the honor guard know we would uh, like to have them present to have lunch with us. They would more than welcome to eat with us.